Hello everyone, I'm Brazen Eagle, and thank you for joining me here. So, today, as you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to talk about one of the next steps in social devolution. So, now, I haven't seen too much in the media talking about this, but nonetheless, here we go. So, from weeklynewsreview.com, Police sees pedophile club flyers during Amsterdam Pride Walk. Uh, posted 19 hours ago, it's a four minute read. So, during the Pride Walk, the police today seized flyers from pedestrian club Kinder Liberation Front in Vondel Park. That club wants to draw attention to the rights of, you know it, pedophiles. The club believes that the Pride should also be open to people who fall for children. According to the police, the flyers were seized because bystanders reacted violently. So it's a bystander's fault for inciting violence. Shouldn't those people be removed instead of potential pedophile people? This man went flying in the Vondel Park, and the organization of the Pride Walk did not want that. Security also asked the man to leave, but he refused, said police spokesman Jelmer Geerds. When the police arrived, it was decided not to let the emotions run higher. Public order threatened to be disturbed. Because there were strong reactions to the flyers, they were confiscated. Then the man left voluntarily. He has not been arrested and may, con and may come to collect the flyers at a later date, as is customary when objects are temporarily seized in the interest of public order. So, the bystanders became violent. The pedophiles or the pedophile awareness people were being peaceful. Peaceful. Hmm. And this was at a pride walk. Hmm. Interesting. The flyers were taken after consultation between the OM, the police, and the city of Amsterdam. It is unclear who is behind the pedo club. According to several sources, this is only one man. The man who manages the Twitter account at pedopride2019 is not yet available for comment. Under the hashtag pedopride, the club tweets that nepiophiles, pedophiles, hebrophiles, and ephebophiles should be part of pride and welcome to the community. This year, we are present at At Amsterdam Pride. The names refer to children from zero to puberty. Wow. A spokesperson for Child Liberation Front says he has consulted with Pride about modest participation, but we were immediately called out for criminals just for our orientation. Ooh, sounds like some uh, Pride members are discriminating against other people who have an orientation. Oh, no. A spokesperson for Pride Amsterdam confirms that the organization has been approached, but wants to not waste words to this club. They are not part of Pride Amsterdam. We do not want our name to be associated with this. Well, that's too late. This does not belong to us. Well, that's totally a lie. Mayor Femke Halsema, spokesperson, said the municipality was alert. The municipality is aware of the announced action by this person. Together with the OM and the police, we are on top. We keep a close eye on the man and take immediate action in the event of impending order disruptions or committing criminal offenses. Well, it sounded like a bunch of homosexuals or people who really love homosexuals were becoming violent at the idea of this, or welcoming other people into their very inclusive group. Concerned citizens have started a petition to Halsema to prevent the arrival of the Child Liberation Front. It has now been signed more than 2,100 times. Huh. So that's right, guys. It took a literal Swiss newspaper, or I guess in this case, Swiss news article, to find out what was happening in the Amsterdam Pride Festival. That's all the way in the Netherlands. Pedophiles are now one of the next groups to be liberated by the chains of an intolerant and exclusive society. These pedos are now slowly coming out of the kitty closet and want to be respected for their attractions because love is love. And anyone disagreeing that love is love is a bigot. Everyone is equal, and any negative sentiment to any sort of attraction to another person should be shamed. You know what? Why do homosexuals shame people for having different orientations or attractions? That doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> shouldn't pedophiles 
and those who are similar be part of the LGBTQ LMNOP? I mean, the P's in there. They all want to be accepted for who they are, and we should tolerate everyone and tolerate everything. Just because some people might find a certain age range more attractive than another doesn't mean that they are criminals. They're just... different. Yeah, different. Totally nothing will happen if it's normalized. It's interesting to note that gays <clears throat> and those that are similar do not tolerate other people's attractions. Huh. I thought love was love. These gays are absolute bigots and need to learn that they are pedophobic. That's right, they're afraid of pedophiles. Pedophobic gays. Wow. <clears throat> I thought I would never say that. I thought gays were an all-inclusive bunch, but I guess they're just a bigoted people. All right, now I can be a little bit more serious. So, you know what? This is absolutely expected after you normalize homosexual behavior. Like it or not, it's just another notch in the social progression of our dying civilization. When one group sees that it wants to be liberated, then all other potential groups also want to be liberated as well, or so-called liberated. It just makes sense if you tolerate this. So, now I've got another article from Pathios.com. Apparently it's more of a Christian website, but I want to let you know, I'm not coming at this from a Christian perspective. I'm coming at this from a non-religious point of view. Anyways, and this was posted on March 4th, 2019. So, one by one, our sexual taboos have been falling. According to our pop culture, premarital sex is now the norm. What used to be called self-abuse is served by the vast world of internet pornography. <clears throat> Sadomasochism has become the topic of best-selling romance novels. Hmm. And instead of homosexuality being considered a psychological and moral problem, disapproving of homosexuality is considered a psychological problem, homophobia, and a moral problem, hate. But a few taboos remain for now. Sex with children is still considered a heinous offense. Revelations of a child's sexual abuse in churches, no less, still fill most of the public with rage. But according to Stella Merabito in her Federalist article, The Pedophile Project, a movement has begun to legitimize and legalize pedophilia. <clears throat> she cites magazine articles in which pedophiles, celibate pedophiles, they hasten to say, give their testimonials bidding for sympathy. We were born this way, they say. We can't help our desires. We are just objects of hate. Where have we heard this before? Mer uh, Mirabito cites academic articles arguing that sex between children and adults is not that harmful and that pedophilia is simply a sexual orientation. Classifying pedophilia in that way is being considered also by the American Psychological Association in its Authoritative Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, also known as the DSM. Which, actually, I'm going to come back to the APA in a few days because they've done something weird. Anyways, Mirabito points out that sexual orientation is a protected category under the nation's civil rights laws. Thus, if pedophilia is officially classified as a sexual orientation, Pedophiles would enjoy the same legal protections that the LGBT LMNOP individuals currently receive. Social acceptance, social acceptance of pedophilia may come not so much from new sympathies for adults who want to have sex with children, but from the notion that children too should have the right to have sex if they want to. Children are already being sexualized in the fashion industry, the entertainment media, and even in schools. Primary school children, long before the advent of puberty, are literally being identified as gay. The medical profession is being complicit, along with psychologists and even parents, in giving puberty blockers and sex change operations to children and adolescents, constituting malpractice and child abuse on a mass scale. They're also forcing children into sexual modes. Mirabito quotes, calls to lower or eliminate the age of consent. Oh, wow. After all, if consent is what makes sexual relations moral, then if children want to have sex, then they should be allowed to. The statutory rape laws that say that a person under 18 is legally incapable of consent are surely oppressive to young people. If an adolescent or child consents to having sex with a person of whatever age, so the arguments go, surely he or she should have that right. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
If the age of consent is eliminated for children, there will be plenty of adults eager to secure that consent with persuasion, gifts, and seduction. And we will see exploitation and abuse and trauma on an unparalleled scale. The children will have no protection, but the pedophiles would. And you can read her own article, follow her links. Do we as a culture have a basis anymore for saying no to pedophilia? Or have we already surrendered to the pedophiles' arguments when we accepted the normalization of all of those other taboos? Most people are repulsed by what those pedophilic priests and ministers did to those children. Might that perception that there really is sexual evil led to a broader recognition of the importance of sexual morality? Hmm. <clears throat> well then, as stated before, what was once seen as a taboo or unacceptable is now either normal or being normalized. Eh, gotta love social progression. Homosexuality used to be considered a mental illness, but then was removed from the DSM in 1973. Much like with homosexuals, pedophiles claim that they were born with their natural attractions. If homosexuals can claim that they were born that way, then why can't pedophiles, hmm? So it seems like we might have already opened up that social Pandora's box. <clears throat> this seems to be a little intolerant of other people's views and beliefs, which according to equality is a no-no. Now, basically, pedophiles are beginning to come out more and more about their issues and will claim that their feelings are just another sexual orientation. Why should someone be shamed about their sexual orientation if we're all equal and we are all equal in worth? Like what homosexuals have said before, their sexual orientation was something that they were born with. Same thing for pedophiles. Their attraction to whatever should be considered, should be considered, a sexual orientation. This would give pedophiles the same and totally fair and equal protected category rights as homosexuals. Love is love, right? This is for equality, everyone. And human, human, humane human rights. Unless people are actually unequal, then that idea opens up a massive can of worms. And that's a fun can of worms to play with. Either way, social devolution is going to continue until there is an extremely massive correction in the social space, which I'm frankly concerned that there will be within the next few decades. Until then, though, thank you very much for watching. I'm Brazen Eagle, and I hope you have a great day.